All right, welcome back. We've got our servo or our thruster attached. Um, we have the instance created. Now we just need to send the command. So I'm going to click over to the sketchbook so I don't have to watch that scroll. Um, and then down here, I'm going to use a command. I'm going to, first of all, identify which, what I'm sending it to. Whoops. So thruster dot write with a lowercase w microseconds. Suddenly, I don't know how to type. Oh, man, I made some mistakes. My, oh, no, parentheses. OK, servo write microseconds. And what we're going to write to it is the thruster speed variable. Because that's where we have that number stored, 1,100 and 1,900 in there. And then semicolon here, and then slash slash. Control C, Control V. Sends the oops speed data to the thruster. And technically, it sends it to the thruster's ESC, not the actual thruster itself. The ESC takes that data from the Arduino and then figures out how to make the motor spin that speed. All right, so this should work. At this point, the only way to test this is to get a LiPo battery, plug it in so the motor has some um, uh, power to work with, and then I'm going to upload this code. And I'm just going to see if it works. So what should happen at this point is that when I move my, whoa, -oh, error, Will Robinson. Oh, I didn't put any equals in. Whoops. <laughs> Hopefully you guys saw it on your code and you were like, come on, Mr. Oz, I put it in there. Don't get an error. But I did not. I got an error. Errors happen. Oh, hey, yay, thanks, done. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds fantastic. Hey, so listen. <laughs> If you hear that crunching sound, that's because you're jamming it from forward to reverse. I cannot tell you how bad that is for your motors. So when you're testing these things out, they're meant to be in water. So they're meant to have a lot of fluid around them. Uh, so they're not meant to just like snap, change in directions. So make sure as you're changing them that you're doing it gently and slowly so that you don't get any kind of violent noise and let them spin down before you go to a different direction. Um, just jamming them around, you're going to ruin your motors, and we don't have extras. Um, plus, they're 50 bucks a piece, so don't do that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to test this to make sure it's pushing in the right direction. So when I push up with the joystick, I should feel air coming out of the back of the, the, um, the thruster, because remember, Newton's third law tells us if we push water backwards, the water will push us forward. So we want to make sure we're pushing backwards. If that's not working, you need to find your, the ESC, so find the ESC for that thruster. And then on the ESC, there's a marking for A, B, and C wires coming out. If you flip A and C, if you switch them, so unplug them and switch them around, the motor will then spin the other direction. It's a nice little fix. Um, you could come up here and change the mapping. You could put this to 1900 or 1100 if you didn't want to change the wiring. Uh, but those are the two kind of ways to fix the forward, backwards, reverse thing of a thruster. Um, and at that point, I think that's it. You've got your um, single thruster all worked out and ready to rock and roll. Have fun.